This next chapter will familiarize you with the basic instrument settings required for setup of the SciTech Guava Muse flow cytometer. It will also explain some of the main software features and instrument operations that you will need to know before running samples. The touch screen provides several ways of entering and selecting information. Touch buttons to select an assay, drag sliders or handles to make adjustments, and use the keypad to enter text or numeric information. You can also connect an external mouse and use the cursor to make selections on the touch screen. If you haven't done so, plug in the instrument. Press the power button located on the front of the instrument. A screen will appear prompting you to select a user. If you are logging in for the first time to the system, select Administrator and type in the default password of 1234. To customize user preferences, please see the User's Guide for additional information. The main menu will appear after selecting a user. First, set the date and click Apply to save. Each time you log in, you will be at the main menu. At the top of the screen is the navigation bar. This indicates the progress of any given procedure. The current step will be highlighted in gray. If you want to exit from any procedure screen, simply select Home to return to the main menu. If the navigation bar is not displayed, select the Back, Close, or Cancel button to return to a screen with a navigation bar. Below the navigation bar are the Setup and Eject buttons. Setup allows you to set specific system features such as managing users and data and setting specific software options. The Eject button releases the sample loader arm to the down position. You can also manually release the loader arm by lifting the lever in the hatch on top of the instrument. At the bottom of the screen is a status bar. The status bar identifies the user, status of the program running, and level of cleaning and waste bottles. From the main menu, you can choose an assay from the favorites. You can also change the assays that appear in the main menu under the favorites list. From the essential tools, you can check the system's performance, clean the system, and manage power options. Please see the user's guide for more information on these options. Each time you run an assay, two files are created, an FCS 3.0 data file and a CSV spreadsheet file. Both files contain data for all samples run in the experiment. The FCS data file will include results and sample information, as well as an event log. The CSV spreadsheet file includes sample information, statistical results, and instrument settings. It is important that your instrument is cleaned regularly to ensure it functions properly. The first time the instrument is used, run two complete system clean procedures. At the beginning of each day, Make sure to run a complete system clean before running the MUSE system check procedure or any MUSE assay. Before running a cleaning operation, it is important to ensure fluids are at optimal levels. Ensure the cleaning bottle is filled with instrument cleaning fluid. Also, check that the waste bottle is empty except for 10 milliliters of bleach. Select Complete System Clean under Essential Tools on the main menu. Choose Run Complete Clean and load a full tube of ICF. Select Run to begin cleaning. When the ICF cycle is complete, load a tube full of DI water. Select Continue. At the end of the procedure, the cleaning log will appear. Select Finish to exit, or run a second complete system clean if setting up the instrument for the first time. The status bar at the bottom of the screen shows the amount of ICF remaining in the cleaning bottle. 
and the space remaining in the waste bottle. When necessary, a message will prompt you to fill the cleaning bottle with ICF and empty the waste bottle. To reset the status indicator for the cleaning and waste bottles back to 100%, select Reset Fluid Levels or select Clean, then Reset Fluid Levels and follow the on-screen instructions. It is important to reset the fluid levels each time you fill and empty the bottles so that the instrument can determine the amount of fluid in each bottle.